Hey guys, this is Fwadmain here, and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to add new fonts to your WordPress theme. As you can see here, I'm just using the basic 2011 theme that comes directly with your WordPress package. All of the fonts are just the same way you get them. So let's go ahead and change it up a little bit. Go to your dashboard in your admin panel, click on add new plugins, type in fonts into the search box search for plugins the first response should be WP Google fonts as you can see it has a very high rating because it's a very good plugin click install now alright act to go ahead and activate the plugin and now in your settings tab you should see a new link that says Google fonts click on that and here's your Google font control panel there are six different font options that you can make that will each modify your HTML tags. So go ahead and go up here and let's say I want to change this tag and this tag and this tag. All, all the fonts that are in those. So I'll go over here. H1, H3, and H5 are already selected for me. Um, I want to put them as Ubuntu. So go ahead and click Ubuntu. To find it, they're all different types of fonts, go and click Ubuntu, and then click Save. Go back to your WordPress site, reload the page, and as you can see here, everything is in Ubuntu. And you can do this for any font that you want. So you want Aldrich, go ahead and click Save, reload it, and now it's a different font. You can do this with any of the fonts you want and let's say you want to go to the Google web fonts directory because I would not recommend going through and trying to see which one you like out of the plethora that are given to you go, and Google, Google, go ahead and go to Google web fonts see one that we might like uh, let's go in, ooh, this Chivo looks pretty good so we go back to our control panel find Chivo under C, here we are, and click save, reload it, and that's the Chivo font. And you can do this with any of the Google web fonts. Alright, now let's go back here. Let's say we want to have it for a specific for a specific div or for, for a specific paragraph. You can include custom CSS. As you can see down here, they give you a way how to what you should do in order to do it properly. So let's say you have a div container, a div with the ID of container, and you want a specific, you want only the um, paragraphs in there to be uh, a certain font. You can do that just as they do it on the bottom. So container p. Go ahead and do the font family. Ours is Chivo. Change the font size to let's say two pixels and the color to red. Just just as a test. And click save. Nothing will probably happen because we don't have any div container specifically. But it's more for when you have an actual theme like a custom, a custom made theme with certain uh, div, uh, divs you're gonna you're probably gonna want to use this okay so now we go down here I right, that's that's great and all but now what if we want to have our own font so what we can do is go ahead and go into um, defont.com find any of the fonts that we want so all right this Altera looks pretty good we go ahead and download it now I have the Altera font, as you can see here. I have the TTF. Now let's say I want to put it into my uh, into my CSS with my um, with my WordPress theme. I'm going to go to Custom CSS at Font Face, and I'm going to put the URL uh, put the URL to to this 
this file. You can see how this is done by using Google Fonts. If you go to Quick Use and at the top you're using Import essentially. Oh, oops, not Font Face. Import the URL. The way how I recommend to do it is either upload it into your backend or you can use the the uh, the S3 hosting from Amazon. So go ahead and sign in. Make a new bucket. Let's call this WP Tuts. Create. Let's put an underscore in there. Okay. Go ahead and upload. Upload our little file over here. This one on the desktop so that we can get it easily. Okay. Going to start the upload. This way we'll be able to access it very easily and it will be our own custom font that isn't on Google Web Fonts. Alright, now it's uploaded. Now let's go ahead and make it public. And now if we want it, we can just Get the URL. Right in here. Okay. Now we go back to our control panel in this URL. Wait, but wait a minute. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's not import. That was, I was right the first time. Font face. And then we have to do font family, setting up the font family to begin with. Altera SRC URL. There we go. And put that in there. Close the squiggly brace. Now we can do body font family. Altera. And then always have a font stacks to do serif as a background just in case if it doesn't work. Squiggly really brace, then I'm going to go ahead and click save. Go back to your WordPress site, refresh the page. As you can see, this is the Altera font. It is now overriding anything that that's supposed to be that, that's over control over the body, the body tag will override any anything so you can do that for either a div specifically or you can do it in general and that is how you add fonts to your WordPress site. In the next tutorial I will be showing you how to include it in your actual theme itself without having to use an extra plugin. We'll be, we'll be showing you how to include it in the theme options page. So Stick around and we'll uh, go and show you how to do that.